for the uh, YouTube? Yeah. We have a virtual coffee together? Cheers. That's unreal. Flight, but I just got to Stockholm. It's pretty empty in here. I've never been to Scandinavia before. I'm very excited, excited about this trip in general. But it's been a day already. Connection in Iceland, now in Stockholm. Now another little flight to go to an island to a town called Visby, which is just southeast of Stockholm. It's gonna be a fun trip. Got invited by company which you'll soon see and yeah let the trip begin first stop mm. coffee we have a virtual coffee together I love that hey. cheers, cheers things you do from afar catching up Mm. So nice to have a coffee with you in Sweden this morning. <laughs> See, this is so cute. This is the Stockholm airport. Yep. Yeah. I just took this little jumper to Visby. This island just south, and here we are. So the trip officially begins. This is our hotel. How cool is this place? Literally looks like a movie set. Alright, so just arrived in my quaint little room here in Visby, island of Gotland. Gotland. And this is what's up. This will be the J-Craft experience or Jekraft, as they say. Very excited about this. If you know me, I grew up with boating culture in Muskoka in Canada. If you follow these vlogs, you know I'm obsessed with boating. My wife would tell you it's one of my favorite things to do. So this is a real treat and a pleasure that we will be driving the torpedo. And not only driving, I mean, look at this, incredible. Wow. Woo. That's me, not tomorrow, but the next day. Not only driving, but we're going to be touring the factory, the shipyard, sorry, seeing everything there is to know about J-Craft and the history. They are kind of like Arriva on steroids, as these guys put it. Wow, look at this black. The Rolls Royce of boats. That's right. You heard it here first. Now, how do I get one of these to the Hamptons? That we're going to have to work on over the next couple of days, guys. We're going to have to work on that. That's why we do this. Come on. Imagine Hannah, me, this. Meant to be? Possibly? I'm really excited. This is going to be a really cool trip. So, Jaycraft, thanks for having me out here. We just got to this little town and we're about to see what's up. It is not warm here yet, but getting warmer. Fingers crossed for nicer weather. Nice weather. Anyway. We get into this, we're gonna go hang with the community. And our day starts touring the J-Craft factory here, seeing how the boats are made with the resin, all the techniques they're using, and we're here at the shipyard. So it begins. Pretty crazy, they steam the wood. It's an old Viking technique in here, and then they're able to melt the proteins and bend it, and then cool it, and it remains at its shape. So all the pieces on the boat are solid wood and formed. What do you call it? Lizard? The guy who grinds it, yeah. you know? And he makes it, it he and makes it like this, it's you know. Beautiful. So this is not so expensive to make. So we pay <laughs> we pay by kilo, you yeah. know. But, but this, this yeah. work. It's the art. Yep. So if I could only tell you how heavy this wheel is. It used to be made of aluminum, now steel. And it just goes with my theory that things that are heavy feel expensive. 
and well made. They made with this is aluminum, now it's made with steel. And this is the designer who designed the steering wheel for Ferraris. And they had to convince this guy a long time to get involved. But as soon as he saw the boat at the Monaco Yacht Show one year, he was begging to work with them. It's a cool story. This is pretty inspiring to see how boats at scale are made. <laughs> Got a lot of money to make, folks, but at least we'll get to drive one of those tomorrow. That exact one, actually. So if you're a boating fan like I am, this is a pretty crazy invention and innovation. These are forward-facing propellers. So normally, the front of a boat, this is in front and the propeller pushes the water back. But Volvo Penta invented an ISP system and they go forward first so it's unobstructed water hitting the propeller, giving 30% more efficiency. That is pretty damn cool. I haven't seen that before. It doesn't really happen on traditional outboard engines. And yeah, they also rotate. You can see it's on a circle. So we're gonna see it tomorrow, but that allows the boat without bow thrusters to move sideways, diagonally, turn in an exact circle. Those things work independently or together to move the boat wherever you want without any other piece at the front. Innovation. This to me is really cool. They took, first of all, putting a digital display anywhere is so tough, so they encased it in steel and chrome, which is unreal. I have a big problem with like luxury cars and stuff and how these iPads or digital consoles sit in them and don't age well. So this can go up and down so you don't need to see it. And then they spend a lot of time money translating what you find on the screen into these analog dials, which is obviously not easy, but super important. You don't always want to have this screen up. So this allows you to have all the info here, all these details. They just add custom on top just to make them feel that much more regal. So well done. Ducking down into the cabin. This can go down, turn into a full queen size bed, and you even have sleeping down below. Crawl right in. Now, this is luxury, my friends. And you gotta see this throne. That is where the big business calls are taken from. Pretty cool. You can even slide this glass door and shower. Wow. No detail is missed here, I tell you thing is insane. So we just left the shipyard. Cool to see the boats being made now. We are in the old city of Visby here, which this is the old port town. So you can see this white building here. There used to be 700 of those stacked here. What's more interesting we just learned is right below us, Vikings are buried. Ripped this up to redo it and found a meter and a half down below here. Right in the town square, they found all these Vikings buried. So, you know, a little piece of history right there for you. It's closed, and I'm not allowed because it's a bit dangerous to go in. Th things can, you know, break, break us on. But you're you're so young and, and everything. So, and if you don't tell no, anyone, yeah. uh, we can go in just for a couple of minutes. DNA I can show you uh, the old the interrogation room and where the prison was here. Uh, Don't tell anyone. Oldest, help you with an older man came into the reception in the museum. He said, "Well, your guide is locked in like a couple of uh, tourists from Finland. Uh, you, they're, just, they're standing there screaming. He has to go and you know lock them up." So he came there. And when he came down the street, he could hear them or <laughs> around the corner <laughs> screaming, "Help! We're from Finland! Help! We're from Finland!" <laughs> you know what he said when he came to them? Uh, sorry, I can't help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> this is like time traveling for real. We we're going into a place. It's now locked for everyone. I'm not allowed to show you this uh, because, uh, but now we're doing it anyway. If there's one place in Visby that's haunted, it's this. <laughs> Let's go in. Uh, welcome into the medieval place. <laughs> oh. So as mentioned, there were 700 of these iconic buildings right here in town that kind of surrounded the port. Just a cool moment in history for you guys in case you never make it to Visby. All right, just came back, did a little work post museum, my little mobile station here, uploading a vlog for you guys called the home base. You've seen multiple vlogs since this one went up, but just headed out to dinner. 
and uh, I, can't, I really can't handle these LEDs. Ah, better LEDs and GoPros do not work together. Anyway, I'm just gonna head out for cocktails and then dinner with the crew. I'm gonna leave you guys at home because it's better to be present in these moments than film other people talking and some non-staged conversations. So we'll catch up tomorrow. We're gonna do a boat tour and or drive this boat, which I'm really excited about. And then also, I think we're getting in some helicopters or something. All right, it is the day we are driving right there. That is it, the J-Craft. 48 feet of pure pleasure. I'm excited to be out here. First time in Sweden is going quite well. There's not a lot of wind today and it is glorious. Excited to get in this thing, see how it handles and just look goddamn regal. So if you use the joystick in here, it's super easy as mentioned yesterday. So cool. And back in. Uh, without the thrusters, that's without impressive. Them. Yeah. And so easy, to, it feels so nice. It's very easy. Uh, and as soon as you touch the throttles yeah. and move them, the joystick is deactivated. And then it's on throttles. Incredible. Right, Eric? Shh. <laughs> That's unreal. Thank you, my card reader, with the card. All right, that, my friends, was great. Got some drone footage, as you've seen, or are seeing, or about to see. Eric drove his first boat. He did it. Did it, and I got a taste for it. You're officially a Swedish boat driver. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in my CV. <laughs> Your CV is getting very strong. You say CV in uh, yeah. English. Yeah, yeah. Resume, CV. And the day continues. Yeah. You look very safe. I am, I hope. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> see Sweden. First time, not my last. Gotta bring the family back here next. Some things you gotta enjoy together. Such a stunning place. It's natural. Rock figures are insane. All this white limestone. Apparently, when they build houses here, they chop into the stone, make it in layers for flooring and polish it and you get all the natural character from the sea as part of your home, which is just really cool. Thank God you didn't get sick in there. No. Oh God. That would have been a different trip. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Oh. 
it was cool. All right. Say goodbye to a couple of new friends. And now, do some work. Have a shower, get ready for dinner. And then I've just arranged to go into Stockholm because I fly at 855. I don't fly again till 250 from Stockholm. And we're on this little island, so I gotta get there. So I'm gonna go meet a friend for coffee in the morning in Stockholm, which I've never been. So I'm excited to get to see that for a couple minutes and uh, say hi to her. And then that's it. So this has been a great trip. If you ever get the chance, I'm just gonna tell you, Jaycraft, I'm not gonna lie. These are the nicest boat I've ever driven the nicest people I've ever met who make the most amazing boat I've ever driven super easy to drive obviously really expensive I think they start at 1.6 million euros so you know gotta save a lot of money but if you ever get a chance even see one of these take a picture of it go sit in it there's only 28 of them in the world I think and everyone who owns one is probably pretty damn cool and probably is an interesting story to tell because it's an expensive boat and it's a classy boat and a lot of boats these days are just fiberglass and kind of white or whatever it's tough to see real regal looking boats like look at this thing it's just fanning out here a little more it's tough to see beautiful boats that aren't old in nature that are still new and looking classic and old and this is just really cool so if you see one of these, just tell the people you respect them because these are cool. And I respect people who are still making things in a heritage base instead of modernizing everything. They're keeping the same cool style while modernizing the boat. Who? Oh, scams. I don't like us. That's it, Jcraft. Thank you for having me. Negri Firma from Italy, PR company. Thank you for having me. This is really cool. I haven't been on a lot of these trips in the past because I've always been um, yeah, kind of busy DJing, but as I'm trying to wind that down more in my life and move more into content and collaboration and launch my own line, which is coming very soon, maybe this week. Yeah, it's uh, just cool to do this, meet cool people from all over the world. Just met a guy from Sweden who's amazing, people from Italy, people from France, people from Copenhagen. It's awesome, just to expand the network and really quick uh travels because gotta get home to my wife and kid which just sounds cool to say anyway that's it this is so fun thank you again jcraft for having me sweden i will be back if you can find any ways to get me hannah and preston back let us know i want to show them this place super cool everyone was super nice so anyway that is it i'm out